Let's go over how to run a payroll. We'll also show you how to change an employee from a paper check to direct deposit. If you need help with adding employees or setting up your payroll taxes, you can check out the links to videos on these topics at the end of this video. Go to Employees and select Run Payroll. Select the account in QuickBooks that you pay your payroll from. Note that changing this does not change the actual bank account the money is coming from. It just changes the account that QuickBooks uses to keep track of this transaction. Then confirm that both the pay period and pay date are correct. If they aren't, then you can change them here. Next, you'll see all the employees in this payroll. To leave someone out from this payroll, just uncheck the box next to their name. For salaried employees, QuickBooks calculates their pay based on the salary info you provided for the employee. For hourly employees, you need to enter the hours they worked here. If your team is tracking their time using T-Sheets, their hours will automatically appear here for you to approve. To change an employee from a paper check to direct deposit, just select the employee and under how do you want to pay? Select the pencil to edit. From drop down, choose direct deposit. Enter in their transaction number, institution number, and account number. Then select OK when finished. Now this employee will be paid by direct deposit. If you want to switch them back to a paper check, just select their pay method and paper check. When you are done, you can preview your payroll. For each employee, you'll see the total pay for the period, the taxes being withheld, and the net pay they will receive. Once you are ready, select Submit. Once you submit your payroll, you can handwrite your paychecks, print them from QuickBooks Payroll, or print pay stubs. If you gave your employee access to view their pay stubs online, they can see them at workforce.intuit.com. Now you are ready to run your payroll in QuickBooks Online.